One of the most useful things you can do before you start visualizing your data is to write a brief for the project. Briefs can be written to commission a designer from outside your organization, or they can be used to help guide you through a project you're designing on your own, or internally in your organization. By agreeing to a brief beforehand, everyone can agree the terms and scope of the project before any work starts, which makes it easier to ensure that the project will be managed efficiently. Generally, data visualization briefs specify the following. Audience, function, objectives, tone of voice, audience takeaway, deliverables, deadline, and budget. Let's have a think about how we would write a brief for our data visualization about life expectancy in the MENAP region. So, the first thing to consider is your audience. Who is this visualization speaking to? What is their age group or their demographic? What country do they live in? Be as precise as you can. Of course, your audience also relates to who you are. It might be different if you're a journalist creating a data visual for a news consumer compared with the audience you might want to reach if you're working as a human rights lawyer. Always make sure you know who your audience is for your project. What is the function of this data visualization? To explain, to explore, or to exhibit. In the context of our course data set on life expectancy, I would say that our data set is relatively small, but there are some interesting stories in it. As you might remember, I picked option C as my editorial focus. My focus is that out of all the countries, only one country has actually had a decrease in life expectancy from 2000 to 2010, and that was Iraq. So, in my case, I'm creating a visualization that explains. It will highlight my story and guide the reader through it. What is the goal of this visualization? To communicate your brand? To compel people to donate or volunteer for your organization? To raise awareness of a particular subject or situation? In my case, I want to make sure that I raise awareness of the insight I found in the data set and include that in a report I'm writing. I also want to share it on my website and online. Should the tone of the data visualization's design and annotation feel humorous, playful, serious, or urgent? For a class data set, I think the tone should be relatively serious because we're talking about life expectancy. After seeing this visualization, what is the main message that you would like to communicate to your audience? I'd say this is similar to our objective. We want the audience to take away the main insight found within our class data set. Will the finished visualization be published on the web? If online, is it a full website, a video, a static graphic, or will it be printed? In my case, I need to be able to save the data visualization as a PDF for my report, as an interactive visualization that I can embed on my website, and as an image that I can share on social media. The deadline is one of the most important pieces of information in the brief because it informs how much time we have to create the visualization. So I guess for our class visualization, I say our deadline is at the end of our course. The budget is as important as the deadline. It will decide what sort of design solutions are possible for the project. Of course, we don't have a budget for visualizing our class data set. So for us, the cost is our time. Writing a brief is incredibly useful for defining the terms of a project, but often besides the brief, I ask clients for descriptive words to describe how the project should feel, as I find that can be a useful way of understanding the tone of the design from a client who might not be able to articulate what they want through using design terminology. Descriptive words might include things like beautiful, organic, playful, serious, or urgent. For the data visual I want to make, I would probably pick words like official, impartial, and serious. All of the factors specified in the brief will impact every aspect of the design, so it's important to specify as much as possible in advance. I've created a guide on brief writing for you, and you can download this from the resource section below.